Today, we've got a story that's as juicy as a public sub, but with a twist you definitely won't find on the menu. Picture this, a Publix employee who decided to give himself a little bonus, not from the company, but from the cash register, one transaction at a time. That's right, he figured out how to turn his Apple Pay into an all-you-can-steal buffet. Hey, how you doing? Good, what's up? Got this, um, Charlie Associate, who, um, spent some money in the refund fraud. Okay, so tell me what happened. He works in customer service, brings up a uh -huh. refund with no customer there, takes his phone, reaches around, puts the refund on his contact with the phone. What's he refunding? How's, he, how's that work? He keys in $25 grocery. $25 grocery. $25 so you don't have to have a receipt to scan or anything? And so he... Then just turns because once you turn a refund, now your register is over 25 because we're supposed to be giving it to a customer, right? So then when he takes it, it makes it even. So so when he when he brings it up, has 25 dollar refund. Here I'll show it to you. This is what it looks like. So grocery food refund, right? Mm -hmm. Order total $25. Mm -hmm. Grand total. And then was this just the fact that it's been given back? Yeah. On this one, he took cash. Sometimes you'll see mm -hmm. it here, there'll be. So, so you don't have to provide a receipt to get a $25 refund? Oh, no. Like, hey, uh, here's a receipt for whatever. We get a refund for anything. Oh, that's not smart, huh? No, it isn't. Okay. But that's um, I'm loss prevention. They're retail. Yeah. It's a um it's a it's a a holdover from a long time ago, but our public's culture is such that we want to continue to give our customers a I refund. I, wor I work at Publix and Shop. Ten hmm? four, we're gonna be upstairs uh, in the upstairs uh, management office. Bottom line is I have forty two refunds. For one thousand thirty, got the video so, of everyone. So, um, so the, the when the when the drawer is checked, I'm assuming it, 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 there, will, there, there will not f reflect. No, it, it balances. So, if you do a refund mm -hmm. and you don't give the refund to the person, it'll be over that amount because you're. It'll be um, over, but he takes. It, but if he takes it, but if you take money, it. Becomes then it becomes so okay. the register's been even all those times. So, so how did you become aware of this? Um, we have an exception-based reporting system that flags people that are doing excessive refunds that look suspicious. We have certain things we look for. So, what I guess what flagged you? Grocery, food, twenty-five dollars, and a multitude of them. So only he's only done the, like transactions for twenty-five. Every one of these was for twenty five dollars. Huh. Didn't mix it up at all. It made it real easy. So when did it start? Uh, beginning of March. Mm -hmm. And then when Let's did you? Let's put it this way. That's all I have video because my video. Yeah. Sorry, when did you become? So you became aware of beginning of March and no, when? No, I became aware of it yeah, uh, last week and um, when we identified it in our exception based report. That he was doing yeah. a lot of these transactions. Ten forty-eight popped up. It takes a while to dig in and find it, and then yeah, yeah. you start looking at video, and then all of a sudden, then so you have video. So that was on four twenty-four, and uh -huh. today I'm interviewing. So it's been six days since I found out. And he's what does he say? He admitted to it. Uh huh. And it's over. It's, how much is the total of this? One thousand thirty. Okay. And you want him to go to jail? Yes. Okay. You want to write a statement and all that stuff? I thought I have to. We have okay. to do, sir. All right. So, um, what he's doing, and I, I can take primary, you can take him to jail for me. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. Oh, it's just um, where you can send us on a call. Um, he started at the beginning of March. Um, I guess you do a, what, what do you call it again? A refund transaction? Yeah, refund. So, no, no customers there, right? He, uh, he keys in $25 refund and either takes the cash himself or puts his phone over the scanner and scans the $25 in back onto his whatever checking account or service. Um, Apple Pay, I think. And I guess it, they, it will go undetected 
until something flags it in their system, which he eventually found, okay. um, and then started to look into, and I guess beginning of March until now, uh, he's been. Uh, and since March, it's a thousand dollars thousand thirty. You said forty-two refunds since March. Since March, forty-two thousand dollars. Okay. Forty-two refunds for one thousand dollars. One thousand thirty. So he's uh, he's admitted to it. Um, I haven't spoken to him, um, but that's that's kind of where we're at. And they want him to go to jail. Obviously, you heard that. Mm -hmm. um, Anyone else in here or no? No. What's up, man? How you doing? Um, so I guess uh, I was talking to uh, was it, see, loss prevention guy, basically on over here, uh, trying to figure out what's going on. But before we talk to you, we have to read your rights. Colonial address. Some of the rights are in some. Do you understand? Right. Anything you say may be used against you. Do you understand? Right. You have the right to an attorney to inform during question. If you cannot afford one, then can provide it to you. Do you understand? Okay, have I promised you anything to talk to me? Have I promised you anything to talk to me in reference to this? All right. Do you understand your rights? Okay. Um, so basically, he's saying that um, there's 40 something transactions, I guess, that you're creating and then refunding to yourself. Is that correct? Yeah. Do you know the exact amount? $1,030. That's what he said. Is that, is that, you agree with that amount? Yeah, I, I don't know the total amount. Okay. Alright. Um, what were you just like, I guess, ringing stuff up and then, were you taking cash or were you like, uh, putting in your account? How, how's that working? I've done both. Put it back on my card, cash. Like debit card or? Yeah, Apple Pay. Apple Pay. Okay, how do you do that? Like, how do you put it back in your, when you do a refund, how do you put it back in your Apple Pay? Just double click my phone and hold it to the same pad. So you, you just, like, is it like a QR code you scan or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, just, just like that and hold it to the pen pad. Oh, and it just ref it refunds it, like cash. It's, so it goes to your Apple Pay account. No, no. Or your Apple Wallet or whatever. It just goes to my Check in. card. Okay. Yeah. All right, so it's like in cash. Alright, um, so they want to press charges. I'm just going to call my supervisor real quick and see, um, uh, you know, the difference between, I guess, going to jail and me sending it to the state and letting them figure it out, okay? So just keep in tight real quick. You got your ID? No. You have a Florida driver's license, I'm assuming, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. What's your first name? Carlos. You have a Florida DL, right? Zone two. For the driver's license. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You going to go to jail for? No? How long have you been doing this? What, working here? Well, how long have you been working at Publix? Five years. When did you start doing this? A couple months ago. Yeah. Not a good move, huh? Yeah. Are you full time here? Right now. Yes, sir. What is there? Uh, are they going to fire you? Contract 23 at a time? Sorry, man. I hate seeing somebody that's obviously not, you know, previously been doing, you know, thing. How old are you? Twenty-six. Yeah. I hate to see that. Uh, I hate to see that, man. That my. We're used to dealing with people who do do the wrong thing a lot. So. Doesn't sound like this is the case. That's why I'm most likely going. Huh? I'm going to jail. I can't tell you right now. He's going to ask our supervisor and see if we can do it a different way. Um, you know, it's 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 a felony amount. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so once it's over 750, it might tie our hands a little bit as far as how we. Yeah, like, it was misdemeanor, definitely, probably, probably based on. Um, speaking with you, really? ba definitely well, yeah, probably wouldn't be going to jail, for sure. But we'll see. Assault with weapons, and attempt to kill. Never could find a deal in Florida. So, it's usually 17, but I don't have a cage car. So, um... You do I. You oh, wait, I mean, I can't leave here. Right, you're off duty, other. So I'll ask for a 40. Um, do you have things and stuff like that? Yeah. Uh, what are you driving? Car? It's a supervisor car, but it's a spare. Uh -huh. So, yeah, it's not anything. 
Charlie 27, can I get a signal 40? I'll go downstairs. So I'm trying to run them. You got your phone number, I'll send you this info. Yeah. I'll be back up in a minute. I gotta get some text to work for you to uh, write a statement for me. Okay. okay? Uh, just, um, yeah, I know, I know it's, uh, I know it's kind of, um, you know, policy is policy. It seems like he's, you know, pretty remorseful and doesn't have a history of this and never been arrested. So it sucks to see somebody that's been here for a while and do this, you know. I'll be back up. Yeah. You're being placed under arrest? Yeah. You just leave your phone right there. Yeah. Yeah. You use your house? Yeah. Put your hands like you're praying like this together, like that. There you go. I'm sorry? We couldn't do it outside. Well, I mean, we'll have to walk you. We can't do it outside. There's an emergency door downstairs. But we're going to walk you out, like we the side. So we're not going to go through the lobby, okay? The suspect received six months of probation and a lifetime ban from Publix. That's right. No more BOGOs or fresh subs for this guy. We hope this will be a valuable lesson for him. Anyway, drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.